Hello and welcome to uh, video classes of Dinesh Tiyari classes. Today's uh, topic is uh, determinant, but make sure before starting determinants, you have seen my uh, previous videos of matrices. Uh, I hope you all are aware uh, with the term square matrices. So determinant is related to a square matrix. So if I define what is determinant of a matrix, for that we can say determinant is a tool by which each and every square matrix can be assigned to a real number. If I define mathematically, then I can say determinant is a function which assign every matrix to a real number. This x is set of square matrices, square matrices and you all know with the definition of function if f is a function from set of square matrices to a real number that means each and every element of this set is assigned to some real number element means a square matrix so on behalf of this definition i can say every square matrix can be assigned by this law to a real number if a is any square matrix then image of a under this tool is nothing but determinant value of matrix now how can i find this value we have a certain law by which we can find determinant value of a matrix so if you define determinant then you can say determinant is a tool by which each and every square matrix can be assigned to some specific real number and that law or that rule i will define now so if you want to find determinant value determinant value of of a matrix matrix of order 2 by 2 so now i will tell you what is the determinant value of a matrix of order 2 by 2 suppose i am taking a matrix of order 2 by 2 that is a1 b1 a2 and b2 determinant value of this matrix will be denoted by this that is called determinant value of matrix A. So determinant value of matrix A is nothing but A1, B1, A2 and B2. How I can expand it? That is product of diagonal elements that is A1, B2 minus product of off diagonal elements this is A2, B1. So this is very easy to expand a determinant of order 2 by 2. For example, if I say matrix is 1, 2, 3 and 4, then determinant value of A will be 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 4 into 1 minus 2 into 3, that means minus 2. So this is determinant value of matrix of order 2 by 2. So till now what we have done, I expand a matrix of order 2 by 2 to get determinant value. So determinant value of a matrix of order 2 by 2 you can get by multiplying main diagonal elements minus product of off diagonal elements. Now I can expand expansion of determinant of order 3 by 3. Now the question arises how can I expand? determinant of order 3 by 3 if I take a matrix A of order 3 by 3 say A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3 and C3 and I am interested in to find determinant value of it this is A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3 in order to expand determinant of order 3 by 3 I have 6 ways. Why? Because of I have 3 rows and 3 columns. As a whole, I have 6 rows and columns. So I can expand this determinant in any 
one way in any uh, about any row about any column so first of all i have to choose about which row about which column i want to expand suppose i am expanding along row 1 so this this and this these three elements are lying in row 1 so in order to define in order to expand determinant of order 3 by 3 i need to have sign of their cofactors so this position is 1 1 so if you had 1 and 1 it will give you 2 2 is even number so put plus sign here this position is 1 2 if you add 1 and 2 it will give you odd so you write minus sign here this is 1 3 and 1 3 means 1 plus 3 4 even so you write plus sign here now we will expand it so you write a1 with plus sign okay now leave this row and this column first row and first column you have only four elements b2 c2 b3 and c3 then b1 with minus sign now leave this row and this column in which b1 is lying so what is left with you a2 c2 and a3 c3 now c1 with plus sign now again leave this row and this column you have a2 b2 and a3 b3 now you can easily expand determinant of order 2 by 2 so this is b2 c3 minus b3 c2 minus b1 you can expand again this is a2 c3 minus a3 c2 and c1 a2 b3 minus a3 b2 so this is the expansion of determinant of order 3 by 3 along row 1 similarly you can expand about any row about any column and beauty of this is uh, beauty of this expansion is this that value determinant will come same in all six ways for example start it started Achha. okay so um, so we take an example in support of expansion of uh, determinant of order 3 by 3 so this is a determinant of order 3 by 3 if we find determinant then we will put in a straight line 1 2 3 2 3 1 3 4 1 once again I have six ways to expand it allow any row allow any column so we have to decide first about which row and or about which column I want to expand it. So I am expanding along row 1. So this position is as I told you 1 1. So put plus sign here. 1 2 position minus and plus. Alternate negative positive. So 1 with plus sign. Leave this row and this column in which 1 is lying. So you are left with 3 1 4 1. And you can expand this 2 by 2 determinant by multiplying this and this minus this into this. So this is 3 into 1, 3 minus 4 into 1, 4. 2 with minus sign. Now leave this row and this column in which 2 is lying. Now you are left with 1, 2, 3, 4 elements. And we can expand these 4 elements like 2 into 1, 2 minus 3 into 1, 3. Now 3 with plus sign. Now leave this row and this column in which 3 is lying. We are left with these 4 elements. So 4 to the 8 minus 3, 3 to the 9. This is expansion. Now calculate this. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2. Minus 1 into plus 3 is minus 3. So you have minus 3 and minus 1, minus 4, plus 2. That is equals to minus 2. So this is the expansion of determinant of order 3 by 3 along row 1. Suppose I am I want to expand this along row 2 as well and I want to check whether the value will come same or not. So along row 2. So you find the sign of the elements of uh, row 2. So this position is um, 2 1 minus sign plus and minus. Now I am expanding along row 2. So write 2 with minus sign that means minus 2. Now leave this row and this column in which 2 is lying this row and this column so we are left with only 4 elements that is 2 3 4 1 and that is 2 into 1 2 minus 4 into 3 is 12 now 3 with plus sign 
once again leave this row and this column this column so you have four elements 1 3 3 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 minus 3 into 3 is 9 now 1 with minus sign minus 1 once again leave this row and this column you are left with 1 2 3 4 4 with the 4 minus 3 to the 6 that is here now you calculate it 2 minus 12 minus 10 into minus 2 is 20 minus 8 into 3 is minus 24 now minus 2 and minus 1 is plus 2 so this is 22 minus 24 you have minus 2 if you look at these two values then both the values are same so you can say you can find value of determinant about any row about any column but value will be same so this is the way by which we can expand a determinant of order 3 by 3 now we have an important word that is called singular matrix singular matrix now the question arises what is a singular matrix singular matrix is a square matrix whose determinant value is 0 so you can say for singular for singular matrix determinant of a is always 0 then a term comes non singular matrix and for non singular matrix determinant of a is not equals to 0 and it will come when we will find inverse of a matrix now there is a property of determinant and that says if a is any a square matrix a square matrix of order n by n then determinant value of constant into matrix is equals to k raised to the power n into determinant of a and this property is very very useful for the board purpose sometimes um, question may come like this if a is 1 2 3 4 then show that or verify that 3 a determinant value is 9 times determinant of a so we can easily verify this property for this you find determinant of a that is 1 2 3 4 it will give you 4 minus 6 that is minus 2 in order to find left hand side you first of all should have thrice of a and thrice of a is 3 6 9 and 12 now if you find determinant value of 3 a that will come 12 into 3 36 minus 9 6 54 that is minus 18 and this minus 18 can be written as 9 into minus 2 it is 9 times determinant of a so this property is very useful or very important for board purpose